Hello there and welcome to Fairyland Cottage and thanks very much for joining me here today. I'm going to share with you one of my favourite meals, burger and chips. There is nothing like it and we've got so many courgettes in the garden, it's a great way to use them up. So I start with grating the courgettes and I grate them into muslin cloth over a bowl because you will need to squeeze the water out. If not, your burgers are going to be really soggy. Squeeze out all that wonderful juice and it doesn't need to go to waste. Just pop it into a glass Next, I'm going to peel some potatoes, rinse them, always put a basin underneath so I can catch all the water and reuse later, and pop them on to the boil. And those potato skins, very easy to cook in the oven, but I'm going to use those in another meal. Back to the burgers. Put the courgette into a food processor with a carrot, some cooked beans, these were from the garden, and chilli and mint. Beautiful colours. The potatoes are boiled. Pop them on to a baking dish. And this is my absolute favourite part. Just squish them down with your hand. And I got this recipe from a friend of ours. little bit of oil and some salt. I like to use pink Himalayan salt. So while they're in the oven go back to the courgette burgers and use any seasoning of choice. Now I've got the recipe for these on the website, the link's in the description. So use whatever seasoning you like and then I pop some oats and some chickpea flour in there and it brings them all together. Let that sit for a bit and we're going to make the buns. So these are super simple because I like things easy. I'm going to sift some flour. I like to use spelt flour. And just some water. It couldn't be easier. And you just add the water really gradually. And keep going with the water nice and slowly until it forms a really nice smooth dough. And it won't be sticky at all, so if it is, just add a tiny bit more flour and then roll it out. And I'm making two burgers, so I'm just going to cut it into four. Do my best to make a circle. And then all you do to cook it is you put it on a dry pan. So it's a very hot dry pan. That's all you need, a few minutes each side. And then for the burgers, just Pop it into your hand back and forth and mould it into a burger shape as big or as small as you like. And then I cook them in a tiny bit of coconut oil. And what I like to do is make the entire batch and then any leftover I will let cool, pop in the freezer for another day. So just cook them on a medium heat. You want to cook them nice and slowly so that they heat right through. some lettuce, some tomatoes, and I'll get also some cucumber. But whatever toppings you like on your burger, go for that. And then all that's left to do is assemble it all together. And it's packed full of goodness. You've got vegetables in there, you've got your beans in there. There's nothing like potatoes. So, recipes down below. Thanks, Mel, for watching. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, thumbs up. Chat to me as always, Instagram or below. Have a wonderful week. 
and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!